Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be exploring about bioinformatics research project, especially for the beginner participant. As many of the young students and researchers are approaching us for bioinformatics trainings and research projects, but for those students and researchers who are not able to enroll in our trainings and courses, can still perform these research projects on their own. So let's get started. So today we have an exciting lineup of beginner friendly research project ideas, especially in the areas of bioinformatics. So if you are a passionate about both biology and data analysis, then these projects would be perfect for you. Throughout this video, I also encourage you to stay engaged and share your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you are interested, you can also join our bioinformatics training to take your skills to next level. So let's dive in. So if you are a beginner student or researcher and new to the bioinformatics subject, I would suggest you to start with a mini project which includes sequence alignment. This involves comparing either DNA, RNA or protein sequences to identify similarity and differences by using the bioinformatics tools and resources. The benefit of such projects include understanding evolutionary relationship and predicting the functional element. And for running such kind of project, you need basic programming skills in Python and also access to the bioinformatics databases like NCBR. So let me give you a step-by-step -step approach. You may either choose a set of DNA or protein sequences, try to run SQL through NCBI BLAST to identify matches, try to analyze the result to discover the similarities and differences, and based on those, interpret the functionalities and draw conclusion at the level of taxonomy. The second project you can do is gene expression profiling. You may either use RNA-seq data for this, this project helps you to understand how genes are expressed under different conditions. The benefits include insight into disease mechanism and identifying the potential drug target. And for running such kind of project, you will need basic knowledge of programming and tools like TOFPET and Cufflinks. Let me give you step-by-step -step approach for running such project. Obtain a RNA-seq data from a public biological database. Then pre-process the data by removing the noise and low quality reads. Then align the read to the reference genome using TOFET. Later on quantify the gene expression level with cufflinks. And finally you can visualize and analyze differential gene expression. You may also share your favorite gene you had like profile by using such project in the comment section. And if you are having any trouble in doing the analysis, please feel free to approach us. The third project could be protein structure prediction, where you will predict the tertiary 3D structure of protein from its sequences. This has application in diverse areas like drug design and understanding the protein function. And for running such kind of project, you will need the assist of tools like Swiss Model and PyMole, Discovery Studio, etc. Let me give you a step-by-step -step approach here. Choose a protein sequence for structure prediction. You can get this information either from the ANCBI protein or Uniprot. I've already made a detailed tutorial for such tools and resources. If you want to learn those things in detail, may watch those videos. I will be putting the link of those tutorials in the description section. So have a look. So once you have selected your protein sequences and you have the information in terms of its sequence, submit those sequences to Swiss model for automated homology modeling purpose. Analyze the predicted structure and identify the active site. Try to visualize the structure using visualization tools such as PyMole, Chimera or BioVia Discovery Studio. And based on that, interpret the structural feature and its implication. And also do let us know which protein you are excited to predict by using Swiss model. As we are halfway through our exciting beginner friendly bioinformatics research project ideas. If you are finding these projects interesting, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to comment below your thoughts and project preferences. Now let's continue exploring more projects. The fourth could be on the phylogenetic tree construction. Constructing a phylogenetic tree is to understand evolutionary relationship between species. This project is valuable in the fields like evolutionary biology and epidemiology. 
For running such kind of research project, you will need a softwares like Mega and certain basic understanding about sequence alignment. So let me briefly give you a step by step approach here. Select the DNA or protein sequences from different species. Try to align the sequence using tools like Muscle. Build the phylogenetic tree using software like Mega and try to interpret the tree to understand the evolutionary connections. You can also draw the conclusion about the common ancestor and divergence time. And do let us know your favorite species you would like to include in your phylogenetic tree. Let's go to the fifth project now. The fifth project is on the metagenomics analysis. So if you are from biotechnology, bioinformatics or even from the microbiology field, you can run such projects. Here you can explore metagenomic analysis where you can either study genetic material from environmental samples. This has applications in understanding microbial communities and their function. You will need bioinformatics platform like Mothal. Here is a step-by-step -step approach. Collect the metagenomic data from a specific environment. Pre-process the data by removing the artifact and low-quality reads. Assign the taxonomic identifier using method. Analyze the diversity and functional potential of community. And based on that, interpret the findings to understand the ecosystem's characteristic. The sixth project you can run at the drug target interaction analysis. This can be done by chemists, pharmacists, biologists and bioinformatics students and researchers. You can dwell into the analyzing the interaction between drugs and their target protein. This project aid in drug discovery and understanding the mechanism of action. And for running such kind of project, you will need access to databases like drug bank, molecular docking software. So let me provide you a step-by-step -step approach here. You need to first select a drug and its target protein from databases. Retrieve the information about the drug and protein function. Then perform molecular docking using tools like AutoDoc or HeadDoc. Analyze the docking result scores and binding interaction. And based on that, interfere the insight into drug effectiveness and potential improvement. You can also perform pharmacokinetics and toxicity prediction here. So do share your favorite drug and target protein combination for analysis of for this kind of drug target interaction analysis project. And lastly, seventh research project idea is functional enrichment analysis. Here you can identify the enriched biological terms in set of genes. This aids in understanding of gene set and their role and functionality. And for running such kind of project, you require our programming and tools like David or Enrich. Uh, so here is the step-by-step -step outline for running such kind of project. Start by choosing a set of genes of interest, example differentially expressed genes, into or different scenario. Now input the gene list into the tools like David or Enrich. You can then perform functional enrichment analysis for go terms and pathways. Based on that, analyze the enriched terms and their significance and gain the insight into the biological processes associated with that particular gene set. Do let us know which gene set you had like to perform functional enrichment analysis on or are you having some trouble performing such projects? And here you have it, the seven exciting beginner friendly bioinformatics research project idea. I hope you are feeling inspired to embark on your journey in the world of bioinformatics and let us know which project resonated with you the most. For those who want to dive even deeper, don't miss out our virtual bioinformatics training and do subscribe to our channel so you never miss an update and we will see you in the next time for more exciting bioinformatics content. Keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.